In this video I'll be showing you how to make giant bubbles with several methods that really work. There are hundreds of recipes out there for bubble mix, but most will cause nothing but frustration when trying to make bubbles this large. I use a basic design for the wand called a tri-string. This is simply a triangle of cotton line hung from the end of two long poles, with several weights on the bottom to keep the line tight. The poles themselves are a type of telescoping fishing pole known as bamboo rods. They are inexpensive and work very well, but even broom handles or a long stick will work fine instead. More important than the poles is to use the proper string. 100% cotton rope is the best option and is commonly available at hardware stores. Unfortunately, even though it's labeled as 100% cotton, it rarely is. There's usually a synthetic core that needs to be removed. It's a simple process that can be done just by grabbing the core and sliding the outside of the line down as far as you can. Eventually the line will bunch up and you won't be able to move it any further. To fix the bind, the excess buildup is forced further down toward the other end as shown, which will allow more of the core to be pulled out. Repeating these steps over and over will eventually allow the core to be removed entirely. The remaining cotton line, now hollow, is perfect for giant bubbles. The formula I use for these bubbles, though very simple, has one essential ingredient that will likely need to be ordered on the internet. This is J-Lube Powder, a water-based lubricant that makes all the difference in the world in a bubble formula. It can be purchased at some farm supply stores, and I'll be sure to list an online source in the video description. The base of my bubble mix is an entire 24 or 30 ounce bottle of dishwashing liquid. Any brand will work reasonably well, but the best I've found so far is a hypoallergenic variety. Presumably it works slightly better than other soaps because it contains less unessential ingredients. To this soap, I measure and add one tablespoon of J-Lube powder. The powder is mixed into the soap until all lumps disappear and it forms a thick slime. On top of this is added three gallons of water, one gallon at a time with stirring in between. It's important that the J-Lube was well mixed into the soap before adding water or it will form lumps that will take a long time to get rid of. Once the water is added and well mixed, the bubble mix is ready for use. This simple three component formula is all it takes to make giant bubbles, though perhaps it can be improved with your own experimenting. The tri-string wand design works great for creating the largest bubbles, but takes a bit of practice to use successfully. The line is first dipped into the bubble mix, then raised straight out without spreading the poles. With your back to the wind, the loop is gently spread open to allow the bubbles to form. To close off the bubbles so they can float away freely, the loop is slowly closed and pulled away. Not too fast or the bubble will pop. This part takes the most practice to master. A method for creating bubbles that requires less practice and will work even in very windy conditions is to tie a net within the tri-string. The bubbles made with a net will be smaller but easy for anyone to make even on hot dry days where evaporation can cause giant bubbles to pop. On the end of my poles, I've taped on a loop of string and a carabiner to allow me to switch between different kinds of loops quickly. This allows me to change depending on the environment and if I feel like doing a little experimenting. It doesn't take long to make some really large bubbles right from the start, but you'll find that with practice, the size you can reach will constantly be improving. Be sure to leave me a comment on this video, especially if you give this a try. As I learn more and improve on my own technique, I'll be updating the video description with additional tips, so don't forget to give that a read. If you enjoyed this project, you can find plenty more on my YouTube channel, Nighthawk in Light. Thanks for watching. Now go blow some bubbles and share the fun.